next paragraph in this video i'll be discussing about university of genoa so these are some of the courses that are offered by university of genoa and which is open starting right from the bachelor's the engineering offers maritime science and technology in master's degree you have computer engineering energy engineering and other courses so these are the phd programs economics again engineering mathematics physics and natural sciences so let me click on energy engineering as requested by one of our students so let me tell you about this navigation what i have done i have click on the three line button after clicking this i went to prospective students and here you can read about all the process i am clicking on admission and criteria then so this is admission and criteria process which requires a bachelor degree of 180 ects 180 ects simply means let me tell you what is ects actually ects 60 refers to one year program and if they are asking that you must have 180 ects or cfu which means that you must have a bachelor's degree which is of 3 years or if you don't have your 3 years you can also have your 4 years which is equal to 240 ects again let me tell you clearly that 180 ects means that a program consists of 3 year 240 ects is equal to a program that consists of 4 years understood so this is what is ects then now cv requirements let's go through this once next is there is an admission test and you have to pass that test the minimum point is 36 on 60 uh, when you click this link what you will get a document of 30 questions okay so that you can practice next these are some navigation that you can go through you have to apply for the enrollment process okay and then you have to complete the enrollment after getting admitted and then the prerequisite assessment is just the verification of your previous knowledge that is your document verification done so this was all about energy engineering in university of genoa so next this is the food of mensa canteen i have already made a video how can you access the mensa card mensa canteen offers a large variety of food when you will go there and you show your this id which is in your phone they don't provide you plastic card you have to provide a virtual id that is given by them and then you have you have to install an app that also have uh, already told you and then you have to uh, submit that your code fiscale code fiscale you have to submit and then you will be given a virtual card from which you can access the mensa canteens uh, there are three um, bars you can see in the second bar what you have what you can see you can see the addresses of the mensa canteen and you can access the nearest nearby mensa canteen at your path so uh, we have ordered a uh, pizza um, margarita pizza and then orange juice and this all since i was in band 1 i had to pay i had to pay only 2.2 euros and those students who do not fall in band 1 and they don't have any scholarship they have to pay for the same uh, this uh, food they have to pay 10 euros you will be offered a large variety of dishes okay they are there are dishes a large variety of dishes and if you want to see all the dishes you can just google the mensa canteen and there you will be find you will be finding a menu option and you can select whatever you want to eat okay so the mm, 
food was excessively hygienic it was very much tasty and the best option for the students as well as for one who is working i think for one who is working uh, doesn't get scholarship and mensa card so it is a perfect option for students and would i also like to tell you that uh, that sometimes what happens some university of italy they just um, give, offer a program which is joint in nature for example automotive engineering automotive engineering of bologna is joint in nature and there are many courses one of the student they uh, told me that uh, what happened that they applied for a course they want to apply for a course and Mm, uh, it was i think for bologna or, or for any other university and they uh, yes for toronto it was for toronto and they uh, were directed to another university of bologna when they were applying for the same course so yes it happens that um, you may apply for a course and you will be directed to another university just for the sake that that program uh, that program must have been a joint program okay so it happens don't worry and also there are two type of masters program that is first cycle and second cycle whichever suits you you can apply mostly students they apply for first cycle and not for second cycle so uh, check accordingly whatever suits you and for sapienza i want to tell you um, that the floor is open and the last day for sapienza is 31 of may so if you want any suggestion or you want um, cover letter or anything any help from me you can dm me on insta or you can drop down in the comment section so um, you can get a proper guidance fine and let me tell you um, next thing about tulc the video that i have made on tulc is very much important so make sure that you watch that video for engineering you have to will see i this is i for ice cream okay this is not l or this is not one this is i you will see i for ice cream and you will see e is for economics done and yes for masters and for bachelors most of the university they have opened the floor okay there are very few universities that have not opened the floor one thing i want to tell you about the students who want to pursue nursing in sapienza Uh, to pursue nursing in sapienza this is an update for them that the floor will open in july and i am talking about bachelors those who have completed their high school or will be completing this year their high school with the, um, no less than uh, 12 years of schooling they can apply for nursing in july uh, in july the floor will be opening then and there was also a query of student that uh, he was a student of mbbs in india and he was in first year so he was trying to get his second year he want to uh, pursue his second year in italy or any european country so let me tell you child that you can do this in the uh, european country only this is not permissible internationally what i believe and for more uh, detail you can mail the respected university uh, for uh, to which you are uh seeing up to to which you are seeing up to get uh, yourself enrolled okay according to me this is not possible internationally but it is possible for europe okay and yes the very famous question is about the fiscale code the fiscale code children it get generate on its own you don't have to enter your fiscale code it gets auto generated okay so you don't have to worry and for the uh, students who are applying for pavia and padua what happens that they will mail you your payment receipt they'll mail you the payment receipt after one to two day of your um, uh, of your registration they'll mail you so you don't have to worry that i haven't got the email of uh, an uh, uh, email of payment and i haven't paid yet you will be getting an email of payment and you will be paying fine and yes about scholarship let me tell you that the floor for scholarship is will be open generally it opens in july this year it was open on 3 july 2020 and then what happens that you have two stages okay two stages would be there uh, in the first stage you have to fill up the form and you have to give 
providential documents okay this should be provident you have to give your provisional documents you have to upload those and according to that uh, according to me what happens uh, in um, first okay in first stage they'll select you on the software basis because what uh, ever um, for example you write there uh, 220 um, wait for example you write there that your annual income is 2000 euros and it is the only income that is yeah, it is your fathers or brothers this is the only income your family annual income is 2000 euros so they will shortlist you out on the basis of this only because what happens that they want your income plus your assets plus your annual income everything uh, everything should be less than 23000 euros so they'll be shortlisting you in the first stage just on the basis of your uh, this um, declaration of your income okay just your declaration of your income and uh, first stage list will be out soon then what happens in second stage in second stage you have to give your final documents you have to upload your final documents and this this is not provisional documents you have to upload that and then what happens that uh, after reaching italy you have to give that documents and this time what they have done they have started posting they have told you to post the documents and what are the documents that has to be posted let me tell you so the this is the list of the document that you will be requiring passport and visa pre enrollment summary enrollment letter dov which is duly signed by and verified by embassy 186 and 10 euros fee receipt then permiso di soggiorno fiscale code that uh, you obtain after you um, permiso di soggiorno scholarship winner certificate okay the status that is being shown on your login then the family composition and income certificate as per 31st december 2018 and yes this date is mentioned in the pdf when the scholarship uh, scholarship details would be out so next is the bank certificate Uh, that uh, what is the balance as per thirty first December two thousand eighteen? Next, the property certificate in which house you are renting, how many assets do you have? Then the income certificate as per twenty twenty. Income certificate also you have to submit as per twenty twenty, and that has to be issued by state competent authority. That is, if you are living in Uttar Pradesh, you have to uh, give um, something which is ratified by the Uttar Pradesh government. Next. is your recent photograph and the completely signed or you filled um, consign uh, consigna document and that is uploaded on the lesio disco website as well this is this document is uh, for this year only and this is not uh, always you don't have to submit this this was the special document that was uploaded for this year only done and if you are eligible for accommodation as well if uh, the status of you is eligible for accommodation then you can also add rental agreement fine you can also give you rental agreement in the um, post itself and also attach these documents in the mail the yes i have to tell you the mail you have to also mail these documents at a particular mail let me tell you the mail so this is the mail protocolo at pec dot lazio disco dot it. The address being, you can see the address. So these were some of the questions that I have discussed um, with you. Uh, actually, this was a sort of Q and A question and answer sessions. Okay. So I want to tell you that uh, this uh, is for today, and if I forgot. to uh, add something then mention it in the comment section or dm me on insta i'll be putting all the links there and if you are liking my vlogs video then consider me giving a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel and stay blessed stay happy thank you have a nice day